Welcome to Euro Channel. If you want to work on your sexual function, you should eat yogurt. Yes, that's right. You want the probiotic species from the Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium genera. If you want to know what your gut has to do with your penis, then you have come to the right place. My name is Stefan Bundrock. I'm a board certified urologist and sexologist. In this video, I will explain to you the intricate relationship between sexual function gut microbiome and sleep. Especially men over 50 are at risk for erectile dysfunction. According to research, roughly 50% of this age group suffer from erectile issues. At the same time, sleep-related diseases increase. Obstructive sleep apnea, or in short, OSA, becomes more common. It is estimated that in the US, up to 30% of the men over 50 are affected. In overweight and obese men, this number may be as high as up to 80%. OSA is caused by partial or complete airway obstruction during sleep. This obstruction occurs when the muscles in the throat relax excessively during sleep. More specifically, those supporting the soft palate, uvula, tonsils and tongue. When these muscles relax, the airway can narrow or close, leading to interruptions in breathing. I know that many men don't want to hear that, but it is a dangerous condition because it causes cardiovascular disease among others. Atherosclerosis is a key feature. It means that the arteries become clogged and narrowed by fatty deposits called plaque. Arteries are the blood vessels that carry oxygen-rich blood from your heart to the rest of your body. Over time, this buildup hardens the arteries, making it difficult for blood to flow through them. Therefore, atherosclerosis is often called hardening of the arteries. When blood flow is restricted, it can lead to serious problems like heart attacks or strokes, or erectile dysfunction. But OSA does something else, something with your gut. It alters your gut microbiome. The microbiome is the bacterial environment. A healthy gut is important for the whole body. We have scientific evidence that cognitive function and even depressive symptoms are under the influence of the gut. If you can't breathe because of OSA, you're on low on oxygen. This is called hypoxia. Hypoxia affects your whole body, including your gut. However, in the gut, there are bacteria which need oxygen. They are the good guys, so to speak. But there are also bacteria which can do without oxygen. They are the bad guys here. In hypoxia, the good ones die and the bad guys take over. They release some toxic stuff by the name of bacterial endotoxins. Bad news is that hypoxia changes gut permeability. Suddenly, endotoxins reach the bloodstream. The effect is overall inflammation of the body. If you watch my videos on a regular basis, you know where this leads to. Inflammation is bad. You don't want it for a number of reasons, but especially in your arteries, it stops the release of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is one of the key players of erections. It is a gas and it is produced within the cells of the inner lining of blood vessels. So here, probiotic yogurt comes into play. It helps to keep your gut microbiome healthy. Especially in sleep apnea, it assists the body to fight inflammation because now less endotoxins enter into the bloodstream. Of course, in OSA you will need to wear a mask at night and reducing weight by a healthy diet is not a bad idea, but start slowly, start with probiotic yogurt. As always, things are never that easy. This video is a simplification of complicated connections. Research on OSA and how it relates to the rest of the body is an emerging field. Often it is not that simple. So don't think yogurt is some kind of Viagra, but if you keep your gut healthy, you will feel it before you know it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.